This is the brand new BMW M4 GTS. I just did a video on your Fast Life car channel, my car channel, but I wanted to do a special presentation here on my main channel, Carlisle's Picks, about this car. I'm gonna go into details about this new model. So let's get right into it. So this new 2016 BMW M4 GTS is the first production road car with a water injection system. It has world exclusive OLED light technology. It's specially designed full three-way adjustable M coilover suspension. It also has an intelligent lightweight body design and BMW says it is the most agile, radical and powerful M4 ever. So says BMW. Tell me about the power. You want to know about the power? 493 brake horsepower, and it goes from 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds. 7 minutes and 28 seconds is how long it took to go around the track. Pretty awesome. So they're only gonna be making about 700 of these cars. So this is a special edition limited to 700 units. In America, you're only getting 300. Oh yeah. So let's see what Frank Van Meel has to say about this car. He is the CEO of BMW and he says, Special edition models sharpen the character of the BMW M brand and embody an emotionally rich and exclusive driving experience. We've taken a radical route with the setup of the BMW M4 GTS to create a sports machine for the racetrack that delivers top end dynamics and inspirational performance. By the way, this is a horrible German accent. Anyway, it allows us to demonstrate what is possible today with the Road legal car. Owners can drive their BMW M4 GTS to a circuit such as uh, Spa Francourt Champs. I did not pronounce that guy, sorry. The Neuring and uh, La <laughs> Laguna Seca for club sports events, for example, and then set lap times there that raise the bar to an extremely high level. <laughs> so sorry, extremely high levels for road legal cars. Thank you, Frank. So let's talk about the power plant in this new car. It has a twin power turbo six cylinder inline engine from BMW. This engine revs to 7,600 RPM and it uses an innovative water injection technology which gives this three liter much more power. Oh yeah. So this high revving turbocharged engine is supposed to give you more a linear and more linear power delivery over a wider engine speed range. And then let's talk about this new water injection system. So this is the first time on a road car and it's supposed to increase performance, tackle thermal issues, as far as keeping this engine cool and allow for more power and torque. This is racetrack proven technology applied to the road or in Italiano, strada. BMW fans, sorry, Lamborghini fans know what I'm talking about. So the maximum power on this car is 493 brake horsepower. That's a 16% increase in power over the BMW M4 at 6,250 RPM. The peak torque on the car has been increased by 10% to 442 foot pounds, and you're gonna get that all the way down to 4,000 RPM, up to 5,500 RPM. Oh yeah. What's the top speed, man? The top speed is 189.5 miles per hour. So you're thinking, oh, with all this extra power that you're talking about, what's gonna be the effect on the fuel efficiency? Well, remember, this is only a three liter six cylinder engine and it's turbocharged. And with this new technology, BMW is saying that this car is going to be highly efficient. What will that translate to on the road? Only time will tell. So what's this fancy pants water injection system? Well, basically they're injecting a fine spray of water into the intake manifold, and then that mist of water actually evaporates. And when it evaporates, it actually lowers the temperature of the intake air, and that is the gold. Can you say cold air intake? 
So this is set to minimize the risk of knock and it also uh, is gonna allow the turbocharged engine to operate at a higher boost pressure and advanced spark timing. And that is where you're gonna get the increased power and torque as well as an increased efficiency. Well done, BMW. Hopefully it's also reliable. They're also saying that despite all this extra power, that the stress on the performance related components is actually going to be reduced. So speaking to reliability, that should decrease the wear and tear on the components and therefore give you better engine life in theory. One question that I would have is where exactly is this water coming from that they're injecting into the intake manifold? Where is that going to be stored? And uh, how much weight is that going to increase for the vehicle? If you guys want to learn more about the water injection system, let me know. I may do a more in-depth video talking about that, but I wanted to move on to other parts of this car. There's a lot to talk about, so let's keep it moving. Stay with me. If you're a busybody like me, you can go ahead and click on that watch later button so you can watch the rest of this video later on. But you're definitely going to want to stay tuned if you want to learn more about this awesome new car from BMW. Again, this video was brought to you by your Fast Life car channel, which is my car dedicated YouTube channel. So let's talk about the sound. Let's talk about the BMW M4 music. So you've got a BMW M exhaust system with an 80 millimeter diameter, and you've got the laser engraved M emblem on the exhaust there. The exhaust features a lightweight titanium rear silencer, which is supposed to deliver that beautiful BMW M music throughout the rev range. And they're also minimizing the exhaust back pressure. And additionally, you will have the ability to adjust the exhaust note profile. Oh yeah. This stereo system comes with an equalizer. So you can configure it based on your, your pre-configured drive mode. So you can have uh, an obnoxious drive mode where the car is really wild and in that wildness is the sound. Oh yeah. This car features a seven speed M double clutch transmission with drive logic, which is of course, absolutely no interest to me, generally speaking. Now, driving a car like this in traffic, it's pretty awesome to have the seven speed uh, double clutch system. But if I'm buying this car as a toy to have fun with, I want me a manual, a true manual transmission. The only way that I'm gonna want the seven speed double clutch system is if I am going to use another car, another car to have fun with. So let's say I had something like a 2003 911 turbo and that's my fun car with the manual transmission. And then when I'm going to be in traffic possibly, or maybe I'm commuting and I generally want to be comfortable and relaxed, but I also still like to have that sporty, uh, fun nature to the car. then this would be potentially an awesome option. I know this car is gonna be comfortable, very luxurious, and that seven speed transmission will be certainly you know, convenient for you know, driving in a traffic scenario. Or let's say I wanna do a long distance trip. I don't necessarily wanna take a, a 911 turbo on a long distance trip. This would be an awesome car for that. So you know, there's some nice twisty roads. I can still have some fun and enjoy that because it's definitely gonna be a sporty vehicle but on the highway or in traffic scenarios, or just generally you know, driving for a long uh, period of time, I'm gonna be very comfortable and that's awesome. I can have my quiet profile to where the car is very quiet, very you know, relaxed, and that would be awesome. But if this is to be my only car, I need me a manual transmission. Thank you very much. So let's talk about the seven speed M double clutch transmission with drive logic, the MDCT, yay yay. So you're supposed to get smooth power delivery and super fast shifting, and you've got rev matching on your downshifts. And of course, it is an automatic car, so it can shift for you automatically. It also has the ability to shift without any interruption to your torque. This car is also gonna have a launch control system. This car is gonna have three shift programs. The shift programs are gonna allow you to cater or tailor how quickly it shifts, at what RPM it shifts, it also has a stability clutch control, which is gonna save your butt when you're 
driving aggressively. What it will do basically is it's gonna, it's gonna disengage the clutch so you can avoid oversteer type scenarios. This car also features an aluminum carbon fiber construction. You've got lightweight aluminum control arms, wheel carriers, and axle subframes. BMW is saying that at the double joint spring strut front axle actually saves 10 pounds. There's 10 pound savings right there. And that is compared to obviously a typical steel construction. In the rear, all of the control arms and wheel carriers on the five link axle are made of forged aluminum. This is reducing your unsprung mass by six pounds. BMW is saying actually it's more than six pounds reduction. This is going to improve the wheel location and tracking stability of the car. Now let's talk about the coilover, yo. So this car has a three-way adjustable coilover suspension. It's mechanically adjustable compression and rebound, and you can independently adjust low speed and high speed compression. Let's shed some light on the scenario. This car features OLED rear lights. What the hell? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. What are OLED lights? So this is the world premiere of this technology. This is the first of any series produced vehicle to feature the BMW organic light with OLED technology. OLED, what does it stand for? Organic light emitting diodes. Duh. So these organic light emitting diodes are going to generate the light using some kind of wafer thin layers of semiconducting organic materials. This car is alive, literally or figuratively. I'm not really sure. So this technology is used in uh, contrast to LEDs, which are light emitting diodes. So LEDs emit light in the form of points, right? You always see LED lights with these little light dots or little bulbs, many bulbs. OLEDs light up over their full surface. So the full surface area is gonna light up. So it's a little bit more of a traditional light distribution method, but yet it's diode, so it's highly efficient. They're 1.4 millimeters in height and organic is always good, isn't it? Carbon fiber reinforced plastic, CFRP. That's what the rear wing is made of and the diffuser. Nice. You need to lose some weight, man. Why don't you try some CFRP on your roof? That's what this car did. So it has a CFRP carbon fiber reinforced plastic roof, which is saving more than 13 pounds over a traditional metal roof. This material is also used in the hood, which makes it 25% lighter than the aluminum hood that you find in the BMW M4. And it's all about lowering that center of gravity, which is gonna improve the handling of this awesome car. Shut up and take my money! Oh yeah. Hey BMW, where can I pick up one of these bad boys? Man, that car is so fast. How the hell are you gonna stop it, man? Talk about the brakes. Oh, the brakes. You mean the carbon ceramic brakes? Oh yeah. Mm. So this car has carbon ceramic brakes. So they're gonna be really powerful. They're also going to be noticeable by the gold painted six piston front and four piston rear brake calipers with the M logo. So BMW is saying that you can expect excellent modulation and outstanding deceleration capabilities and stable fade resistant performance. So this will be an awesome car for the track. I actually took a uh, Infiniti G35 to the track and it was pretty awesome actually, considering it's uh, mostly a luxury car. And then I came into uh, one of the corners and I hit the brakes and the car just kept going. Yeah, that wasn't too good. I don't think that would happen with this car. And that's a good thing. Also keep in mind that this braking system is also going to be another point of reduction on weight, reduction on the unsprung masses in this car, which is surely going to improve the overall driving dynamics. So we can see the general theme of this car all over from head to toe. If a car actually had a head or a toe, this car is, uh, seems to be very, very focused on increasing that driving experience, making a car that is very, very exciting to drive on the track and on some 
nice twisty roads like my favorite road about Holland Drive in uh, California all right guys there's a lot more to talk about but uh, this video has ran on way too long so I'm gonna bring this to a close this has been a special presentation brought to you by my car channel your fast life car channel ha <laughs> ha if you enjoy these kinds of videos definitely go over to that channel and subscribe subscribe here as well to carlisle's picks if you're looking for some more awesome videos to watch take a look at the 2016 ford gt overview or the paddle shifters are automatic transmissions not manual uh or take a look at my koenigsegg video koenigsegg riera part three how does it work without a transmission you got this massively powerful car that has no transmission how does it all work find out now by watching my video on the koenigsegg riera Part three. This is Carlisle, and this is your Fast Life Car Channel, and I'm out. Yay, yay! Empower. Ha ha! This is your Fast Life.